Hey guys, hope you're all having a great day. So as many of you might have had this issue in the past, I wanted to show you how you can fix leggy houseplants. It's actually a really, really simple solution, um, but I wanted to walk you through the steps in the video form. And I have this great example for you uh, today with this houseplant that I have. You can see that there's four main stalks to this plant and they have leaves on the like top portion of the plant, the top half of it, uh, but the bottom half doesn't really have anything and it's just a very thin leggy plant. So it's not totally gone. There's a lot that we can do for this plant to make it look better. Um, and here's all we have to do. So the first thing that you want to do is find a vase and fill it with water. You also can do this process just using a regular pot and soil, but I find it a lot easier to just use a vase with water because you can gauge how much water is in the pot and you can also watch the roots grow, which I think is a really fun process. Uh, the next thing you wanna do is with the plant that you have, clean up all the branches for any dead leaves or any dead material that's still on them. You just wanna keep all the best stuff. Also, if there's any leaves that are maybe half dead, get rid of all of those. Make sure they still have a few leaves on the plant at the very least, uh, but as long as you have a few plants on there that are nice and healthy, that's what you want for those plants. What you're gonna do is you're gonna cut the branches with about at least six inches um, of stem. It also depends on how big the house plants are. Um, so what I have is like a small to medium sized house plant. So it would be best to just trim something so that way there's at least six inches and that's gonna give the plant more stability once the roots do grow. The next thing you have to do is just place them in the water that's inside the vase and wait. That's pretty much all you gotta do. Uh, you really don't need to add anything to the water uh, but you just want to make sure that you change the water about once a week and just keep it topped up. Um, as much of the plant that is in the water is generally where the roots are going to grow. Um, so you want to have a decent amount of that stem that has the roots on it and that'll help give the plants more stability when you grow them. Um, however, if they start growing roots and you haven't watered it in a while, you haven't topped it up with water and they're losing that water over time, um, those roots could potentially dry out. So just make sure that doesn't happen. Um, besides this, you want to wait for, I would say, at least a few weeks, depending on how vigorous the root systems are and how fast they're going to grow. Um, however, I had to wait a little bit longer for this plant, so I would say give it a good month or so. All right, so it is February 22nd. It's about a month and a half later, and these cuttings are ready to go. They have rooted in pretty nicely, and today I'm going to put them back into this pot. So this was the original pot that they were in. Um, but I cleaned it out and now we're gonna put some fresh new soil in, the cuttings, and this plant should look a lot better from when we started. So these are the cuttings right here, but I wanted to give you a closer look on what the actual roots look like. So with about a month and a half time frame, here's one of the cuttings. You can see that they have, the roots are probably like maybe three inches long, I would say. And thankfully it has quite a bit of roots. I'll show you a couple more as well. Um, each plant is gonna react differently depending on what type of plant you're rooting in. This one has a lot of roots thankfully. And I'm planning on putting the end of this cutting at the absolute bottom of the pot so that way the leaves start hopefully like right around where the soil is or a little above it at least. These two are kind of the wonky looking ones like they're a little odd but I think they'll still fit in the pot pretty well and you can see the roots on them. So the potting soil that I'm going to be using for today is from ProMix. It's just a regular organic all-purpose potting mix. You can use whatever you want just make sure that it's pre-moistened. So I'm going to put a little bit of this on the bottom but because I want to plant these cuttings all the way to the bottom of the pot. I'm only putting a small amount just to cover the bottom. And then what I'll do is just kind of arrange my cuttings however they want. So you can see how high up these roots are. So because of that, I don't want to start it up here and have roots exposed because it wouldn't help the plant. What I want to do is just put it down as much as I can and then at least it doesn't look like they're leggy from the top as well. So I'll just lay that off to the side. I'm gonna have them try to face kind of in different directions so it looks a little more natural to begin with. And then I'll hopefully continue to turn these. So this one's still a little leggy, but that's okay. Probably could have cut these a little bit further, but I'm just working with what I have. And then this one can stay off to the side. So I'm gonna put some soil around these and have these cuttings more in the middle of the pot. All right, so the last thing I'm gonna to do to help keep this all together and help with these not being so leggy and pushing off to the side is I have a pair of scissors and then also some jute twine as well as some bamboo skewers, just like regular kitchen skewers. Um, so I'll stick this in and then I can tie the 
um, I can tie these around this. And this is only temporary. It'll only last for maybe a month or so to get these into a better shape. Um, and then you can take this out and it'll just be the house plant. So I'm just gonna do that really quick so that way these will look a little bit better. So this is going to be the new home of this plant. Right behind me and also to the other side, we have all south facing windows. So this is going to get a decent amount of light here. Um, and that was the biggest reason why this plant was leggy and why your plant might be leggy as well. Um, the biggest reason is just because they don't get enough sunlight. So just make sure that they get the proper amount of light that it says so. And even if a plant says low light on the tag, give it as much light as you possibly can. So this plant is looking a lot better, a lot healthier. Um, I'm not going to fertilize it for now because there was fertilizer in that potting soil. Um, but after a couple of months or so, I'll, you know, continue it on a fertilizing schedule with everything else. Um, and you can also see that even with its supports, that those are really aren't that noticeable right now. Um, and I think using that jute twine did help this plant a little bit. So that way it kind of um, hides away from the rest of the plant. Uh, but after about a month or so, I'll get rid of those supports and these plants should look so much better. The leaves do look a little bit of like a mess right now, but uh, it's just because they're kind of facing in all different directions. This plant is going to look a little more natural as time goes on. Uh, I just want to make sure that I spin it back and forth. Um, just give it maybe like a quarter turn once a week and that will help keep it looking um, in a natural shape and all the leaves don't rotate towards one direction. So besides that, I hope you guys like this video and I hope that it'll help with your leggy plants that you could potentially have. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future, and I will see you guys in the next video.